Well, hello there, my fellow Eastlanders. Welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, in this video, I will be showing you the best locations and ways to farm legendary weapons and gears in Fallout 76 as of the date of recording this video. So, before we start, how about you go down there, subscribe to my channel, and also turn on the notification bell, like this video, and tell me your opinions in the comments section down below. But without further ado, let us start this run itself. So, I'm gonna go over some locations from, well, the highest chance of getting a legendary, the best places, the easiest ones, all the way to, like, low, low drop legendaries, like, not so good locations. So keep that in mind. Also, this run is not good for low level players. So, the first location, which is, in my opinion, the best way of farming legendaries, is the transmission station 180U03 so you want to fast travel to this location and obviously when you arrive here you want to make your way inside the bunker itself so as you can see I'm the part of the enclave so I could do this if you're not a part of the enclave you can't enter so be sure to keep that in mind Next, you want to obviously go inside the elevator. Now, when you're in here, this small button won't work. So, you want to press this one, which is open door, like the bottom above it. And you will come in here. When in here, you want to make your way through this white door. Do this. Now in here, you just want to follow where I'm going. So, open this door, now in here, this uh, thing, whatever you want to call it, so you want to press this red button thingy, and this is the legendary guy, which as you can see right now it's spawned in as a level 3 legendary for me, so you want to kill it. And after you kill the enemy, the uh, sentry bot itself, which this time was a level 3 one, what you could do is you could exit the server and you want to first exit the building, then basically uh, exit the game to rejoin the server. Because it's indoor, you could just do this infinitely, like there's no cooldown or anything. You just need to exit the game, exit the server, join back in, but make sure to leave the building itself so that the progress resets and basically you could do this infinite times so this is the best one but it's a it's an exploit which it will probably get patched sometime soon so I also included some other locations now for the next location we have basically it's two locations so it's Harper's Ferry and the Burroughs North so this is one of the good places to farm legendaries usually for every every run you could get one up to like three legendaries per run in this place this is one of the good ones so the way you do it is basically you want to run around in Harper's Ferry Harper's Ferry has a random enemy spawn so it could be anything but usually when it's a super mutant spawn you have a higher chance of getting uh, Legendaries, which right now it's scored, so the chance of getting a legendary is quite low in Harper's Ferry, but let's see. So after we cleared the Harper's Ferry itself, this time I didn't got any legendaries, but there's a chance that there will be a spawn for one. You want to make your way into the burrows. When you're inside the burrows, you want to just run around, look for enemies, and kill anything you see. So, Feral Goose. So, there's a medium chance of getting a Legendary. The best spawn for Legendaries is uh, Super Mutants. Then Ghouls, then the 
Scorch. Scorch has a really low chance of spawning legendaries. Six and a half hours later. Okay guys, so I think I fully cleared this place. I got one legendary this time. But on a good day you could get up to three legendaries from these two places. So if you don't like using exploit or anything or the last method has been patched, this is a really good place to also find some legendaries. So for the next place we have the We have the Vestec Research Center. This is like if we're not using any exploits, this is the best place to farm legendaries because they're uh, super mutants and super mutants have the higher chance to spawn the to spawn as legendaries. Oh, shit. And obviously, what you want to do here is first you want to clear the outside of the building itself. After you finish the outside, you want to head on inside. So first, finish the outside. And as you're done clearing the yard of this place outside of it, you want to head on indoors. This is where the the actual like super mutant horde and stuff are inside. You could potentially find a legendary out here, but the inside you're almost guaranteed one. So head inside. Now when you're on the inside, you just want to look around and kill any super mutants you see on the site. 2000 years later. So I think I fully cleared this building. I mean, there's still a few looking cronies that I haven't fully searched, but I think I fully killed almost all the super mutants, and I got one legendary on the end, like in the indoors, but I didn't got any on the like the yard part. So usually you could get two, three, if you're really lucky, even four farming legendaries from this place so I definitely recommend checking this place now these locations that I showed you all have the highest chance of spawning legendaries but I also show you some other not so good ones that if you're really desperate for one you could hit him one of them is the Charleston Capitol building now this place I've previously recorded a video on how you could clear out this is a really good spot for farming XP if you're interested the legendary drop chance is really low, like in 5 or 6 run you could possibly get one legendary from it. So if you're really desperate you could hit it. Next you could also check the White Spring Golf Club, which I also included in that video, the same video, the same video as the Charleston Capital Building one, which again has a really low chance of spawning legendaries, so keep that in mind. Hunter's File. This is also a low spawn chance, usually like one legendary is in every 2 or 3 runs. But it's more than the Charleston Capital building, but it doesn't have as much enemies, so you also get much lower XP. So also keep that in mind. And also keep in mind the fissure sites. So Scorch spawn in this places, which potentially could be legendary Scorch. But I only recommend hitting it if it's in a red zone, looks like the game spawned a nuke in here. The game is like nuke in this area. You want to hit the fissure sites. They have a really good chance of giving legendaries when they're in the nuke zone. So guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Or if you want to see me making a part 2 of this guide, include more legendary places to hit, also tell in the comment section. And I will catch you on our next video.